In this tutorial, I will be taking you through getting started with Instana by installing the agent on Kubernetes. Steps are, first of all, sign up for self-service trial. You'll need access to the Instana dashboard. Of course, you'll need a Kubernetes cluster with Helm configured and an application running on that cluster. Optionally, you can use Stan's Robot Shop, our free sample microservices application. There's a separate tutorial on installing that into Kubernetes. On your computer, you will need kubectl, helm and git installed. We use git to clone the agent helm chart and then helm to install that agent. To sign up for your free Instana trial, go to the Instana website and click the Try Instana button on the top right. Fill in the form with your details, submit the form, and your trial instance will be provisioned immediately for you. When you sign in to your trial Instana dashboard, first thing you'll see is a little dialogue here pops up telling us we're not monitoring anything. Well, of course, we haven't installed the agent yet. We'll just dismiss that dialogue and then go top right here to the drop down menu and to the management portal. What we want here is the agent key. So if we select the agent key, we'll get our unique agent key. We need to take a copy of that. So put that on your system clipboard. You'll need that later. At the shell prompt of my computer, I've got everything set up. I've got kubectl installed and linked to my Kubernetes instance. And I have Helm set up also talking that Kubernetes instance. So the first thing I need to do now is clone the GitHub repository for the Instana Helm chart. So I'll just pull that down, it's pretty small, it uh, arrives pretty instantly. If we now go into that directory, then we'll want to edit the values YAML file. And in here, we'll put in our agent key, which I'm sure you remember to save earlier, and uh, maybe a few other optional parameters. So you can see here we have our agent key. We'll uncomment that and put in our agent key, which we save from the management portal. And then optionally, you can give it a name. I'll just leave it as the default. So save that file now and now we're ready to deploy the agent using the helm chart so that's just helm install give it a name and a name space and the helm chart of course is the current directory that's it the, uh, the agent has now been installed. If we do a Helm LS, we'll see that's uh, all installed now. So now we'll go over to the Instana dashboard and wait for the data to arrive. After a little while, the Instana agent will start on each of the Kubernetes nodes and then start its automatic discovery of the containers that are running on each node and the technology in those containers. But after a little while, you should see the three nodes of the Kubernetes cluster and the various services of the robot shop all automatically discovered and monitored. Clicking on one of the hosts, we get a bit of detail about it. This is I'm running in Google Compute, so we see the GKE information. There's a Kubernetes cluster, so we can click take a look at the cluster information and if we open the full dashboard then we can see the information about our Kubernetes, the resources, the nodes and the allocated resources in the nodes, various namespaces that the cluster has and then the various deployments in that cluster. So that's it. Very quick and easy to get the Instana agent installed using the Helm chart and the auto discovery zero configuration gets you up and running very quickly.